guys, welcome back to Coco Volley, and today we're going to talk about how to pass a volleyball. Now, I've seen some common errors in my day, and that involves the hands. You got the in-between interlude hands, you have the put-together hands, sometimes you have the knuckle hands. If you have incorrect hands, sometimes that can cause injury. So let's learn how to make the correct hands. Now, to make the correct hands, you're gonna make an L shape and you're gonna bring your hands together. You want your platform to be as straight as possible. So you don't wanna have these incorrect hands, these knuckle hands, these interloop hands. You want to have L shaped. So practice that a little bit. I know that it might be different, but try that out. The last thing we wanna do is cause the ball to ricochet off. So make sure you keep your platform straight and your hands are correct. Now passing does have some shoulder action. So let's engage those shoulders to make our platform completely straight, no gaps. As you can see, my forearms are close as possible. That way I don't have a gap so the ball can slip through or so the ball can ricochet off. I'm keeping my platform as straight and flat as possible. Now to find your perfect stance, you wanna be a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Not too far where you feel like you're uncomfortable, not too close where you can't get a proper squat, but shoulder width apart. The best thing to do is to practice to find the best stance for you. So find that level of comfortability where you are comfortable, you can move and you can engage. Now when finding our squat, we're looking for something called middle position, and that's a level of comfortability where you're not too low, you're not too high, you're literally in the middle. So you really have to find where the middle is for you. I'm pretty tall, I'm five foot nine, so the middle for me is different for you. So take time to practice that, and then we're gonna review everything we've learned thus far. Now take the time to practice with me. Let's do all the steps together. Pause if you need to. Let's get it down. Now we're gonna add on our last key, which is the stagger. We're gonna keep our feet a little staggered apart, not a full lunge, just one step forward. I used my right foot, so I stepped forward just a little bit. That way it promotes agility. I can get the balls quicker and I'm on my toes. Now when you're passing angles, you want to utilize your shoulders. You're going to drop your shoulders slightly to get to a different angle and your platform's gonna angle that way. You also wanna utilize the platform height. So you're gonna see me soon use my platform height to control the height of the ball, how high, how low, the direction. So your platform really does control a lot of aspects about the ball. I suggest playing a little bit around with it so that way you can see the different directions you can go and the different things you can do passing a volleyball. If you watch my volleyball vlogs, one of the drills I do the most often is called the left and right shuffle. So a partner is gonna toss a ball left and right five times on each side and short and deep. 
That way it keeps me spry. I have to move for it. I'm working on my form and my shuffle. Try this at home. Don't forget when you're practicing to start calling the ball to get into the habit. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.